just said the statistics show that homeschooling children are better in standardized tests and just test scores and average. Well, I'd like to continue where I left off. You said you're an honors algebra two. Well, not the UN. Very well, algebra two. Then I assume you're familiar with the standardized test we just took over the past few days. Yep. Do you know that that's one of the tests that's used to actually compare public school people and homeschool people? Are you also aware that the homeschool people don't take that test? Or they take a very similar form of it, but not exactly what we take. And you know that not all homeschooling students actually take it. A questionnaire is sent out to the known homeschoolers. Not all of them are actually registered. In fact, I don't know if it's, I don't know if I can find it quickly enough. It says something like, in Scotland, there are an estimated 5,000 homeschooled children 350 of them are actually registered. Now, as I was saying, the questionnaire is sent out, and this constitutes a self-selected group. Only the homeschoolers who respond to the questionnaire, take the test, and send it back are the ones that are graded and averaged in. Why would the parents who don't teach their child or who neglect them have their kids take a test? Only the parents who want to show off their kid as a ridiculously smart genius is going to send it back, and that accounts for the very high test averages. And um, this written by Catherine Fledger, it's entitled Flawed Research. According to this report, a report, the average public school students scored in the 50th percentile on national tests, while the average homeschooler scored, scores in the 80th to 87th percentile, regardless of race. Sounds like an open and shut case for homeschooling, but Glenn Cutlip an official of the National Education Association, points out that the study averages percentiles from several different tests, comparing the scores of homeschoolers nationwide with only those of the public school students from only the state of Virginia. In addition, he says, the, since the homeschoolers were selected by sending out a questionnaire, they constitute a self-selected group, not a representative sample of the entire homeschooling population. Make sure you get to our question. Make sure you get to a question. I mean, these are these, these are question moments here. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, were you aware well, of that? I know. Uh, if you don't have a question, then I'd like to go back to the one uh, about the opportunity to get to college. You said they do not have an equal opportunity to get to college. Well, in the U.S. News and World Report, about the same amount of homeschoolers attend college than public, as public school. And in an Oral Roberts study done, they found that 10% of the student body was homeschooled, and their average ACT was 24, and their average SAT was 1,005, which is comparable to all the other public school or other students. But the average GPA of homeschooling was 3.02, while all the other students in the school was 2.76. Also, at 10 percent. So what is your question? Well, how's it going? I was going back to the question that uh, he believes that homeschooling do not have as good an opportunity okay. to go to college. Okay, and well, time to go. At this time. We have our last shot on the pro side, so it's a one-minute <coughs> speech, and you do have 30 seconds left press. Would you like to use it? Yes. Okay. say that homeschoolers have behavioral problems? You asserted that I said that. I never got around to re-asking you that. I never said that. And uh, as I was saying, I got cut off by the bell. It kind of makes common sense that the college would want to have proof that a child is homeschooling, so they would have less of a chance of getting in. I'm not saying that they can't. I'm saying that it's less probable. And of course, they would be very smart because colleges want the smartest children. I mean, maybe you'd have to take a test to get in. I don't really know. I've never been in college. Um, the other point I made about socialization, I just remembered, on Mother's Day, 
we went to the, lo the Red Lobster, we took my mom out to dinner. And uh, this debate came up, I don't remember how. My oldest brother just graduated from college, and he actually graduated with a homeschooler. And he told me a story about when they went for senior week. It's just a week of celebrating that you're done with college. Apparently, they went to a bar. They're all 22, 23, so they're all... Time's up. Uh, I'd love to hear the rest of that story, but we'll have to do that later. It goes to the con team. Marcus, you have a one-minute last shot. Okay. I'd just like to finish by saying that um, for all these, all these studies, it's evident that homeschooling just produces better results on testing. I mean, you can look at a few examples, as he's shown, but overall, the testing on, for the homeschoolers on SATs, ACTs, uh, the PSAs, Tony Toko scored in the 20th percentile, they're all better. Um, and they also make more confident and self-reliant people. Uh, if you're not already convinced that homeschooling gives a child just as good of an education as public school, Consider this. In 1999, 805,000 students were homeschooled in the United States. About 25% of these students were grade ahead. That's over 200,000 students. If our class of around 350 students followed this trend, 88 students would be a grade ahead. In addition, only 5% of homeschool students were one grade behind. The bottom line is homeschooling works, whoever you are. All right, great debate, both sides. Let's stop for the debate. Great job defending your case since you were by yourself, uh, basically got had a concussion. Both teams did a great job. Um, however, I was swayed for a specific side, and I like that your case you, you relied heavily on the, the the testing. But I would say just because the test scores are higher doesn't mean it's just as beneficial. Um, and I, I would agree that kids do need to be challenged, and uh, and they do need that competition against other students. And homeschooling can never offer that. And if homeschooling was just as beneficial as public school,